Oh, we're getting close. Here's trending moment number four. The Chipotle Men's Ski Super Pipe Final was a who's who of ski pipe talent, and Nick Gepper would have his work cut out for him. Names like Nico Porteous and Hunter Hess are always threats, but one other skier would prove to be the toughest. And he has something the others can't quite claim, home pipe advantage. It had been a long four years since hometown Aspen hero Alex Ferreira last made the X Games podium. After winning back-to-back -back gold in front of adoring locals at Aspen 2019 and 2020, Ferreira hit a rough patch. He had an off year in 2021, missed 2022 with an injury, and then twice decked out hard in 2023. Yeah, I've been thinking about this night since it happened last year, when I was laying on the side of the pipe, and not one day, not one night, not one morning has gone by without me thinking about it and without me visualizing how it's gonna go very differently from last year. And that's exactly what happened. It's exactly how I saw it in my dreams. And if he puts a run down, you know that pole is gonna be swinging. One of these years, he actually swung the pole so fast he hit himself in the face with it. There's the 1620. Trying to match the technicality of Nico Porteous. Switch right side, double, massive run, final hit left side. 16 oh, stops, stop. absolutely and half. stop and spinning the ball. 16 and a half feet high on that last wall. Oh, Alex Ferreira has been on top all season, all the events he enters. Look at the height meter, 16 feet, seven inches. And that amplitude is combined with the technicality of those two 1620s, which is four and a half rotations, two corks on each. He is spinning like a top in this run. And what I love also is the grabs, that 1080 all the way out on the tail grab. Judge is gonna love that. Take a look, let's compare it to Nico 16. See that safety grab he gets. Let's go of it at the end, but he locks it in in the middle. And when that pole's spinning, you better believe Alex Ferreira's looking for gold. Look at the people behind us. It's like an X Games version of whack-a-mole back there, just jumping up and down. Now he finds himself back up top with a 93.33. I'm gonna see get if I can get, get, get a word from him real quick. Okay, Alex Ferreira, how do you feel after that first round? I mean, you put it down. I feel absolutely fantastic. I'm here for redemption. I want it. Uh, what about this crowd here tonight? Say hello to your hometown. I love Aspen. I love you guys. It's my hometown. I'm going to do you guys right. Don't no worry. What do we got next? Anything bigger or better? We're going to eat. Let's go. Okay, let's go. With Alex's run in the books, things didn't really start to heat up until run three. coming now left and right this right side gets it can he put down the misty on the final hit it's gigantic <laughs> hunter has so smooth look at the height meter 15 feet 9 inches he's into the 90s hunter has with a 92 he overtakes brandon mckay jumps back up into a silver medal spot we go back up to the top to Nick Gepper. Is he doing this in jeans? Yes, he is. Jeans and a hoodie. It's a tribute to his Midwest roots. The man from Lawrenceburg, Indiana, is in for his third and final run. Let's see if he can lock in that tail grab on that double court 12. Held the entire time. So solid on the left side 12 as well. Right side 1080. We'll see the switch left nine. And will we see the switch right side double? He's got it. <laughs> Switch right side, double court 1080. Nick Gepper just got off the farm and out here trying to get a medal at X Games. That's X Games mode. Take a look at this first one. Take a Pico de Gallo at that grab. <laughs> Pulling it. You can see the flex of the ski jimmy. He almost snaps it in here. The 1260 to the left. I mean, the grabs. He really is just so locked in. I couldn't even tell you how many double court 1260s he's done 
on jumps on the slopes out course it's thousands maybe tens of thousands so that's why those grabs are just so perfect it's the repetition and the practice over the years just so solid and with four yes. into the 90s a 91.33 in case so you had any doubts he could do it because he just jumped in a podium contention out here tonight Nico Porteous sits in that number five position with a 72.66. I am so excited for this run. Look at this stylish maneuver, that 180 into the pop there. Oh, the zero spin, so smooth, so steady. There's the switch double cork. Here's that right side 16. Look at this again. Is it going to be three for three? Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Come on. The bottom turn is successful. Will the 1620 be there? Nico Bordius on the third and final run. Two 1620s. The bottom turn carved back. Absolutely unseen in the sports history, a run like that. He's gonna get it to 92.66 to put him into silver for now. Even after all those impressive runs, Aspen's own Alex Ferreira proved once again that there really is no place like home. I think it's because I know a lot of the kids in the crowd. I know their families. I'm close with a lot of them. And I feel this overwhelming sensation of them wanting me to do well. And when you feel that, it's unbelievable what you can achieve. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's some sort of universal language, but they give me this energy and I want to perform for them. Alex Ferrer can hang on and get that gold here tonight. This place is going to go absolutely mental. It's going to be bedlam here in Aspen tonight. No better place to be. Guaranteed first or second. Will he add the switch double cork in again? How did he get that around? He had to dive that around. Then the 1620. This is shaping up to be one of the most technical half pipe runs ever done. The switch double cork to the right. One more 1620. Alex Ferreira, four-way double cork variations, two 1620s, the most technical run I have ever seen here at X Games with the height meter up at 17.6. This one was interesting to me. Looks like he gets the Japan, but he almost comes out of it in a roll rotation. So cool to see that he still gets it. There's height meter. I'm going all the way up. I can't help it. Everything in this run is so difficult. That grab locked in. Let's go. Stomps the landing. And again, these 1620s. I cannot describe how hard it is to spin that fast. Alex Ferreira, golden again in Aspen. I heard you say the sweetest redemption I've ever had. Why is that? Yeah, a lot of people told me after last year to stop skiing. And man, am I glad I didn't listen to them, right? Let's go, fire me up. Undescribable how much I can feel everybody wanting me to do well. And when I do well, then their brains release oxytocin and they get happy and then I get happy and I see my parents' face and they're unbelievably happy. They just, they're like, wow, you've made us so proud. It's the magic number. Here's trending moment number three. Francis Tesla Duh had a weekend like no one else, easily earning her a spot on our trending moments list. She dominated in not one, but two events this year in Aspen. The first being the Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air, where Tess left her competition in the dust. She owns five total medals in Big Air, three gold, one silver, one bronze, and here she has with that style trick. Oh my goodness, the 507 double Japan grab. So that went deep in the lily right there. And then again, she had a perfect 10 perfect in that style 10. round yes. to set the bar. And I know Tashi's going to start us off with a massive trick. Yep. Here it is. It's the, wow. <laughs> the double cork 1620. Did you see the fist pump? The fist pump, she's stoked. So she landed this trick for the first time in X Games a couple years ago, but now she does it, no problem. Unbelievable skiing from her, and like they mentioned, she had a gnarly crash in practice, not phasing at her at all. Coming in, switch to this jump, looking over her left shoulder. What has she got for us? Oh, the switch, double 14 
40. And that is four full rotations. Oh, she looks so stoked, so happy. The relief on her face, unbelievable, Tess. So that was you know X what? Games mode indeed. There you go. There we go. I'm throwing that up there. <laughs> Use the technology. It's there at your disposal. <laughs> the Thayer is a hype meter. And here it is. The Switch 1440 with the safety grab. Unbelievable. Tesla making all these technical rotations look so easy. That's her fourth goal. And now that her and Matilda were tied third overall for women's ski medals at eight. So now that puts her in the tie for second with nine. Nine, nine medals. Medals total. With Maddie Bowman. But her weekend wasn't done. In the Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style Final, Tess threw down a run one that is arguably the greatest run in women's ski slope style history. She's in for her first of three. There you have it, the switch to 70. Oh, great row run so far for Tess. Oh, with the K-Fed, so the front swap continuing back to with the back swap on the rainbow rail. So far, so great in the rail section. Coming into the shark fin with the right side, 720, looking good. Here she comes. And there it is, the left side, 1260. Is she gonna give us two doubles today? I really hope we see this. Yes, there it is. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. The switch, the switch dub, 1440. Two doubles in that run. That was incredible. Look at her. She, she can't even believe it right now. In the first <laughs> round, that reaction oh, says it all. Look at her. Yes, Tess. The raw emotion. You just see an X Games mode right here. Look at this flawless rail section for Tess. Absolutely nailing that entire run to perfection like I was talking about. Exactly like the judges want to see. And here is this forward double cork. 1260 to the left and then finishing off with this switch 1440 double 1440 that was a trick that got her gold last night in big air too i mean that was so unbelievably impressive and mind blown test that was awesome arms out excited claiming it as she comes into the corral right there 95.33 oh my goodness wow. Tess. First Hell round yeah. coming out crushing it. See that fans comment? Hey, Hell yeah, Tess is right. Get in there. Oh my goodness, Tess. That was such an unbelievable first round. I can see the raw emotion. I'm so proud of you. I know there's a lot of emotions running through you, but do you have any words for us? I can't believe it. I just led my biggest run, slopside run ever. What an accomplishment for Tesla Duh. A double double. Tess is now the only skier to win slope style and big air at the same X Games twice. And in both years, she dedicated her victories to the memory of her late father, Eric. I just can't believe it. And this one is for my dad, for sure. Uh, my dad passed away three years ago today. So that's why this one is so special. And yeah, it's for my family and I love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Tess. What does that gold medal represent for you? Oh, I don't know, it's my 10th X Games medal. I can't believe it. I, I feel so grateful for everything and thank you. Congratulations, Tess. Soak in this moment, enjoy it, guys. A generational talent, Maggie, like you said, one of the most impressive runs we've ever witnessed.